Hello and welcome to Richard Plays Games. My name is Richard and I play games. And welcome back to Planet Coaster. Welcome back to Avalon Studios. If this is your first time playing along with us, then welcome. If you are a regular to the channel, welcome back. Either way, don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe below and don't forget to also hit that like button if you have enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for playing along with me today. I do really appreciate it. We are here back in Avalon Studios finishing our main street stolen not not based on completely stolen from disney's hollywood studios in orlando florida um we are on the right i guess right side of the street if you were coming into the park we did the left side of the street in episode three uh, so we are now finishing off the right side of the street we had a little bit done uh, from earlier bits that we had uh, attempted um, when we were doing the like studio one internal build which didn't really work so we're now doing only outside and we just kept a couple of the buildings the five and dime being the main one which is the one next door to this some really good stuff that we've um, built this week a few I know it sounds weird to say amazing signs that I'm really happy with lots of tiny little art shaped stuff which I don't record because it, it's really quite monotonous it's not fun to watch but the the end result is really good something I'm or well all of them I'm really really happy with and I will show you those when we get there there's a few quite a few jumps uh, in this week's video there's a lot of stuff that I didn't record because again I forgot to hit record which I'm still working on I am gonna stop doing that but it does jump around a lot also I my recording time has been quite all over the place I work five days a week and sometimes the two days off a week that I get I have to do you know life related things that happened quite a lot um, on my last three days off so I only had like minimal play time so a lot of the footage is quite sort of jumpy where there's like an hour here an hour there that I am kind of getting as much done as I can um, the, the building that we're doing right now this is very colorful lots of detail I, I've really enjoyed building it actually it's based upon a shop at Hollywood Studios called Beverly Sunset uh, it's in the street leading up to uh, Tower of Terror if any of you have ever been to Hollywood Studios and you know kind of where I'm talking about it's just the very first shop on the left hand side as you turn into that Hollywood Boulevard section it it looked awesome when I was sort of looking around on Street View about what I wanted to to build and I saw this and it had so much detail and I thought I'm going to give it a go thinking that it, it wouldn't really work and actually in the end it came out looking very good but as always I am falling victim a little bit to the planet coaster scaling gods because this game as we all know does not not really do scaling all that well. Um, playing around there with some some of the in-game pillars that they they I find it very frustrating you know you'll pick up a pick out a stucco pillar because you're working with stucco pieces and the textures are just so very different from the um, the other stucco pieces and it ends up looking a little bit naff so I've created my own pillars here using windows and these really tiny art shapes that I always use I, I think think I'm okay with it there's bits and pieces of it that I would like to look better but for now I think I'm I'm okay with it. it it does the job there's a few bits in the park at the moment where really that that's kind of the watchword like does the job uh, it's not great well I don't think it's that great it's not it's not awful it, it does the job um, big jump there sorry about that so this, as you can see that we've, we've suddenly done quite a bit of stuff um, one of them being there's a really nice uh, marquee going on underneath here now with a really nice sign which when we get into the real-time section after the um, time-lapse we will you know look at in detail because I'm very very proud of it you can see I've sort of been working behind we're building now on the queue for our other flat ride that's hidden in the sound stage and it has a name uh, which I will reveal in the um, again in the real time section I'll, I'll leave it open for um, 
a vote. I say a vote, no one's gonna vote, but I'll let you guys comment down below and let me know what you think of the newest fake IP that I've come up with. It's a little bit of a joke. Um, it's a little bit of a nod to some of the awful kind of fake disaster films that have come out recently. Well, not fake, they're real, they're just not serious. But yeah, I'll let, I'll, when you guys see it, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll really, we'll go through it and I'll let you decide if you think it's worth keeping or if you think I should do something different. There's our, um, our marquee, which oh, I just love, it looks great. This isn't going to be a, a, an open door shop. It's going to be uh, just a closed door shop that works as a facade. We've kind of filled up as pretty much all of the shops on the main street that I would like to do now. There's no need for any further sort of um, anything, you know, more. We've got plenty of food and beverage on the street, enough that when you're sort of playing in the park in the sort of, I guess, the angle or the how zoomed out you would normally play Planet Coaster unless you are one of the people that really likes to play super zoomed in all the time. It is, it's the park, it, it looks filled out, right? Like it, you could, you look at it and people are going into into shops and into stores and unless you're in really sort of zoomed in looking at it, you can, it looks like there's a lot going on in the stores. So I just, I don't really feel like I need to make every entrance on the street a doorway. Lots of detail in this one, really um, trying my best to... I, I don't like to use up a part count for part count's sake. I don't want to just use a huge number of pieces just because, you know, we can. But I do want a nice, detailed park. I think I mentioned it in a, in episode one, I think, that I, I haven't had a, a Windows PC in a long time. And I used to play this game on a really old iMac. Um, first of all using something called Bootcamp which is when you can install Windows on a Mac and then when Planet Coaster finally came to Mac as a native app and I could download it off of Steam for um, for Mac I started playing it in that as well but once I hit a certain part count I just couldn't play anymore I've got so many different like small projects or medium sized projects that it got to the point that the, the part count got too much for the for the Mac and I would have to just stop playing because the, the park became close to unloadable so I'm not trying to overload the park count because I don't want to get into that situation I think my new computer would be fine but now that I do have a computer that I can use a lot of parts I'm really enjoying trying to get as much detail into these builds as possible back down the other end of the street now this is possibly the only um the only one of the what we've building that we've built that i'm not sure about and i think it's mostly because the the texture of the building textures i don't know if it's the right term is why it doesn't quite look as good as it does in real life this is again from hollywood studios it is like right at the entrance once you've when you're at the crossroads of the world sort of area when you walk in for those of you that know and there's this there is a this is a toilets building on your right hand side if you're looking up towards the Chinese theatre it looks awesome in real life really detailed surprisingly detailed for a bit of an out of the way building but just kind of detailing that I can't really get into into Planko because the, the textures of the of the wall pieces it's quite grubby I can't think of a better word to describe it it's quite a grubby looking building and everything in Planet Coaster always looks so clean so it's hard to make that kind of to get that kind of vibe but it's staying for now I have I really want to move away from the main street when we get into the the real time section we'll kind of go through and I'll sort of talk you through what my plans for what's coming up next but We've spent now four episodes on the main street. I, I really don't want to spend any more time on it because we've we've done a lot of time on main on the main street, and I'm really happy with it. But I didn't start a um, studios park to do nothing but work on a main street. So we are going to get out of it in the next episode. The the next episode that we're going to do, we I'm looking to start our first coaster. I have placed the station down. I'll show you in the real-time section where it's going to be. Um, but I, 
it's uh, it's time to start really fleshing out rides you know more than just flat rides hidden in sound stages pretending to be something that they're not this it's time i really want to get into building a, a good coaster something that will draw in a lot of a lot of peeps just trying to finish this off here using the archer for scale like you know like we often do but this i spent quite a lot of time on, on this random staircase and again for a building I'm, I'm really not sure if i like we'll see you'll see you guys will see when it's finished what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let the, the time lapse finish and i will catch up with you guys when we get into the park in real time And here we are at our entrance arch, which is where we're going to start our walkthrough of the park. Nothing really has changed before the main gate, apart from one thing, which if I change to nighttime, you'll see we have massively updated the lighting. Uh, in episode three, I realized how dark it was back here, and I had a spare 10 minutes, and I decided just to sort out some of the lighting around here because it was getting really poor. Um, no theme park would be as, as dark as that. It just opens up this area a little bit in terms of making it seem look, you know, more welcoming and a lot more light. Uh, only other thing is just a few signs on buildings and stuff like that. Nothing really worth exploring. We're going to walk up to our uh, through our main gates, and this is our entrance crossroads, and it's looking really good really happy with how this looks this is that toilet building that i was saying i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm still not sure how i feel about it i th i think with anything in this build so far that i don't like it comes down to detailing and it just doesn't quite feel detailed enough but i'm not sure about what 
to do to make it more detailed. Also, this <laughs> railing, just a super janky stairs in this game. Never easy to make. Um, but I'll keep an eye on it. We'll, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it. I'm not going to do it in any more videos. I'm not doing any more videos of the main street. Um, this, um, I've placed a few of these around. This is my attempt at, essentially at a... Um, an old style traffic light, you know, with a bell would go off and these signs would pop up, stop, go. I don't know why it would still have the light then, but anyway, I, I, I've kind of seen a few of them around in these kind of theme parks, so I thought I wanted to to give one a go. I kind of like it. It's going to stay for now. This is my favourite um, building that we did this week, but I don't have the time lapse for it. I don't know where it went. But I love this sign. So this is the dark room, um, is the name of the shop, and I just love using this these really small art shapes to make these three D signs. It just gives the whole thing a much more um, realistic feel. I, yeah, I'm I'm really really liking it. Heading up this way, we've got um, a few more buildings. This is our five and dime that we built way back in episode two. This um, is um, made out of art shapes primarily, based off of a building in Hollywood Studios, a, a store that sits next to the dark room, actually. Not sure what, what its basis is. I'm sure I could look that up and find out. And we're gonna head up to the other end of the street, and this is our Beverly Sunset Theatre with its marquee. Really, really like this as well. Really like how this sort of turned out. My idea or my thought would be it is a shop in Hollywood Studios, but my thought would be that it would be great if this was like a little cinema playing stuff inside. Again, not really something we can do, but really, really enjoy it. This this angle now sort of looking back down towards the main entrance arch, just looking really complete, looks really good. Really, really like it. Um, over on Clueless Clives, we've added a few little... Um, those action pieces uh, just to spruce up the queue a bit. That's pretty much finished. Over here we have a new um, information kiosk. And this will be where this area over here, this little building will be uh, where ride times are, are um, posted. I'm, I'm going to make something and put it up as a, as a screen, I think. This is our first in-game restaurant or in-park restaurant this is based on the brown derby restaurant at hollywood studios which i believe is a was a famous real life restaurant again this this i i like parts of it don't like other parts of it is detailing again it's not finished it's got a bit of work to do some detailing i really like i like this um these strips over the doorway here but sometimes in other places it just looks super plain i know that that's probably okay but i'm just not sure about it and then finally two last things actually <laughs> our newest fake intellectual property is dojnado um <laughs> a bit of a joke this one right I, I wanted to do like a um as if it was some kind of disaster film set in here similar to uh, backdraft when it was at Holly universal studios hollywood or like a long time ago where you would just go in and they would just set fire to stuff or Twister, where they would just blow something away. You know, that kind of, you stand there, something happens, you leave. And I was going to do a Twister. Someone in the comments had suggested that I just call it wind. And I, I laughed and I found it funny, but it, I just didn't really like it. Then I started thinking about these, about Sharknado and these kind of really recent, terrible disaster movies. And my girlfriend and I have a Shiba Inu and he was running around like an idiot and he was described as a dojnado and it just sort of stuck and i was like right that's my that's my next ride a lot of detail like i say a lot some extra detailing just to put into the queue writing along this um the top here which i'll take care of off, off screen and then lastly this is next next episode's project which is our coaster the first coaster in avalon studios it's going to start right here Okay, then let's finish up with some nice glamour shots. 
and there we are our main street is done well not not done but it's done enough for youtube we'll finish it off another time and i'll just let you know the progress thank you so much for playing along with me again this week i do really appreciate it if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to click that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all future avalon studios videos but until then i will see you when i see you <laughs>